I was part of a sector leader programme um, looking at the RAPA framework and all the criteria that had been developed in a previous project. Um, out of that project, I um, took some of the criteria from the RAPA framework and asked groups of staff to do a moderation exercise based on just a very few criteria, but criteria that were very relevant to what they were doing. Then um, I was in the lunch queue with one of the individuals um, who had been part of one of those groups and, and part of that process. And she said to me, I didn't know um, what I needed till I had it. And to me, that was a kind of wow moment. And then I thought that that would be a really great thing to be able to share that conversation. So I asked her if she would be willing to be videoed if we had that conversation again. And she said, yes, she would. So we went up and we made the video. And that video was the material that I made as part of the sector leader programme. I think the key things that that enabled um, the tutor to explore and to learn so that she had her own kind of wow moment, I think the RAPA framework and the criteria gave her something to measure it against and to reflect against. And um, she was able to, because we're a very doing college, so we're based on doing, and she was able to reflect that often we just reflect on the doing of the student, but actually what she reflected she needed to think about was the learning and what the student had learnt. So he had done something, but out of that he had also learnt something. So the staff development methods I used was first of all to take a uh, moderation group really and, and to give them a moderation form and to look at some of the evidence that we use. Um, to use that in a tutor group which knew and trusted each other, to give them um, not a fixed agenda but something quite free and open so that they were able to explore something um, as a peer group without feeling there was any judgement in there. So people are finding the practice for themselves rather than being told what the practice should be. And um, to use something very, very small for that to come out of. So. I'm always, always amazed from something very small that something very big comes out of it. Um, if I was to give people advice um, about how to develop reflective practice amongst staff, I would um, advise giving lots of opportunity and encouragement towards reflective practice. For example, maybe encouraging check-ins at the beginning of team meetings and things, to work with groups um, who trust each other so um, that they're able to share some of the findings because because you're making yourself quite vulnerable actually when you're you're reflecting potentially so to have groups where people are trusting each other to encourage people to be non-judgmental um curious and also playful